For years, lithium has been the undisputed king of the battery world, powering everything from our phones to electric vehicles. Now, a surprising challenger has emerged from an unexpected source, the world's largest lithium battery maker, CATL. The sodium shockwave and the king of lithium. What if a company known for leading a specific technology suddenly introduced a product based on a technology long considered inferior? This is the core question raised by CATL, the world's largest battery company, which has been dominating the lithium-ion market. They supply batteries to major players like Tesla and Mercedes-Benz, essentially powering a significant portion of the global EV fleet. Their recent pivot to sodium-ion batteries, a technology traditionally viewed as an underdog, is a move that has sent ripples through the industry. The announcement that CATL's new sodium-ion batteries could cost as little as $10 per kilowatt-hour is nothing short of revolutionary. This is a staggering claim when the entire industry has been painstakingly working to reach the $100 per kilowatt-hour mark. To put this into perspective, lithium batteries cost over $1,400 per kilowatt-hour in 2008 and have only recently dropped to around $115 per kilowatt-hour. CATL's claimed breakthrough essentially laps the field nine times, suggesting a monumental leap in cost effectiveness. The paradox, however, is that CATL, the undisputed champion of lithium, is now heavily investing in a technology that has always been hampered by its own set of problems. The video highlights the mysterious nature of this announcement. CATL has been notably quiet about the technical details behind their breakthrough. They haven't published scientific papers or provided detailed explanations of how they managed to achieve such a dramatic cost reduction. Instead, they've made bold claims and announced two new products, Naxtra and Freevoy, that are ready for the market. This secrecy has fueled both excitement and skepticism, with many wondering if this is a genuine paradigm shift or simply a case of tech hype. Understanding Sodium Batteries and Their Historical Hurdles To fully appreciate the significance of CATL's announcement, it's essential to understand the basics of sodium ion batteries and why they've historically struggled to compete. Both sodium and lithium batteries function on the same principle. Ions shuttle between two electrodes to store and release energy. However, sodium has several inherent advantages and disadvantages. On the positive side, sodium batteries are significantly safer than their lithium counterparts. They are far less prone to overheating, catching fire, or exploding which is a major concern for both EV users and manufacturers. Furthermore, the materials are incredibly abundant. Sodium is literally found in seawater, making it about 1,000 times more common than lithium. This abundance should, in theory, make sodium batteries much cheaper. Despite this material abundance, sodium batteries have always faced significant drawbacks. They are less energy dense, meaning they store less energy for their weight and size compared to lithium. This makes them less ideal for applications like EVs where range and weight are critical. They also have shorter lifespans, with fewer charge cycles before their capacity degrades. Most frustratingly, despite the cheap source material, manufacturing quirks and efficiency issues have historically made the final product expensive, preventing them from achieving the economies of scale that have driven down lithium costs. While lithium prices have plummeted over the past two decades, sodium has been unable to compete. This is the central puzzle that CATL claims to have solved. Naxtra and Freevoy. CATL's dual-pronged approach. CATL's strategy to introduce sodium ion technology to the market is a two-pronged attack with two distinct products, Naxtra and Freevoy. Naxtra, the more straightforward of the two, is a pure sodium ion battery pack. It is being launched in two versions, one for heavy-duty trucks and another for passenger EVs. The Naxtra battery pack boasts impressive specs, particularly in its temperature performance. It can operate in an extreme temperature range from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius, minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 158 degrees Fahrenheit, and retains 90% of its power in freezing conditions. This is a game changer for cold weather regions like China's northern provinces, Russia, and Mongolia, where EV adoption has been limited by battery performance in the cold. Beyond temperature, CATL claims Naxtra can last for over 10,000 charge cycles, a figure that dwarfs the 3,000 to 4,000 cycles typical of today's lithium batteries. If true, this could extend a vehicle's lifespan to millions of miles, effectively making the battery infrastructure rather than a disposable component.
With an energy density of 175 watt-hours per kilogram, Naxtra is competitive with mainstream lithium iron phosphate, LFP, batteries, and CATL suggests it could provide an EV with a 310-mile range. Freevoy takes a more innovative, hybrid, approach. It's a battery pack that combines two different chemistries, for example, lithium ion and sodium ion, in a single unit. The intelligent power management system of the Freevoy pack can switch between the two chemistries based on the needs of the vehicle. This allows the system to leverage the strengths of each chemistry while mitigating their weaknesses. For instance, the sodium component handles cold weather performance, while the lithium component provides the maximum range needed for long road trips. The system also uses the sodium battery as a benchmark to calibrate the lithium battery's charge level, improving overall efficiency. This hybrid design allows for optimized performance in a wide variety of conditions, addressing some of the core limitations of both battery types when used in isolation. The real-world challenges and skepticism. Despite the groundbreaking claims and exciting products, there are significant reasons for skepticism. The transition from a dominant technology to a new one is rarely smooth, and CATL's sodium venture faces a number of hurdles. First and foremost is the issue of cost. While the $10 per kilowatt-hour figure is a tantalizing possibility, CATL has been cagey about the actual pricing of its products. The lack of concrete, market-ready price tags makes it difficult to verify their claims. The timing is also challenging. A recent oversupply of lithium has caused its price to drop dramatically, making the economic argument for sodium less compelling than it might have been a few years ago. Why would the industry switch to a new, less mature technology when the existing one just got significantly cheaper? The lack of technical transparency is another major concern. The scientific community and rival manufacturers are baffled by how CATL could have achieved such a dramatic cost and performance breakthrough without sharing any technical papers or detailed explanations. This vagueness could be a strategic move to protect intellectual property, but it also raises questions about whether the claims are genuine. As a Stanford study noted, the sodium ion industry is facing a classic chicken and egg problem. It needs low costs to achieve scale, but it needs scale to achieve low costs. Furthermore, while the technology may be ready, the entire supply chain and manufacturing ecosystem is not. The existing infrastructure is built for lithium. While CATL can convert its own production lines, a large-scale industry-wide pivot would take time, effort, and significant investment from countless other companies. This inertia is a powerful force that could slow the adoption of sodium-ion technology, regardless of its merits. Outlook and Future Implications Despite the challenges, there is strong reason to believe that CATL's sodium-ion products are not just hype. The Naxtra and Freevoy battery packs are not theoretical concepts, they are production-ready products. CATL has a long track record of delivering on its promises, and the company is a trusted partner to major automotive manufacturers. Dozens of new vehicle models from prominent Chinese brands are scheduled to launch with Freevoy batteries this year signaling a genuine commitment to bringing this technology to the mass market. The manufacturing story is particularly compelling. Sodium-ion cells can be produced using nearly identical processes as lithium-ion cells, which means existing production lines can be converted. This massive advantage allows for rapid scalability, bypassing the need to build a new manufacturing infrastructure from the ground up. CATL's CEO, Robin Zung, has been clear about his vision. He believes sodium ion batteries could capture up to half of the total battery market. If even a fraction of their claims prove true, the implications are staggering. A cost of $40 or $50 per kilowatt hour, while not the claimed $10, would still be transformative. It would make EVs cheaper than their gasoline counterparts, make home energy storage affordable for everyone, and fundamentally alter the economics of grid scale renewable energy. The future of batteries is no longer a one horse race. While lithium will remain a dominant force, the arrival of a viable and scalable sodium ion alternative signals a new era of diversification and competition. This competition will likely lead to better, more affordable, and more specialized products for consumers. The coming years will be a crucial test, and the industry will be watching closely to see if CATL's salty gamble pays off.